Hi, this is Arlen. Hey, I want to show you a really cool iPad app. Uh, this app is also on your iPhone and your Mac, but I find the iPad version to be really handy. And it's this program called Solver. Now, I heard, first heard about Solver from Marco Arment on the Mac Power Users podcast, and that sounds really geeky, and it is. But they talk about some great apps and great uh, workflows that people use. And um, Marco mentioned this this app, and I just found it to be terrific. This is like, you know how you would typically, um, in the past, open up an Excel spreadsheet and just pop a bunch of numbers in there so that you can make a calculation? Um, well, you can do that here in Solver. So, you know, if I just wanted to add up a, a series of numbers, you know, I can just type them in, and you'll see there's a running total. And you know maybe I want to maybe I want to subtract an, a number. You know you can just quickly make your calculations like that, and all kinds of all kinds of fancy stuff. Okay, and you you see in the bottom left hand corner, you have currency conversion. That's the red uh, tab there. You have functions. And if you want a few more functions, some of these functions have um, three dots in the corner, and that will pop up another another function. Okay? It's like that. You have percentages, variables, and some advanced features that I don't really know how to use. I tend to stick with the... Uh, currency converter and the percentages okay and so well let me show you how to use this currency con uh, conversion uh, but let me show you another cool feature in the meantime I'm just gonna slide my finger from the left hand side of my iPad and it pops up files each one of these you can think of it as like a ticker tape or a little file like those Excel spreadsheets you would have saved before um, little files that I have set up synced with Dropbox. So this is kind of like my scratch notebook and if I ever wanted to clear that I'm gonna just hold down on the delete button and clear all and all away it goes. Now if I pop down to my file called yen conversion you can see I've, I've created a list of some souvenirs that I bought <coughs> while I was traveling in Japan and uh, say I bought a DVD, I'm just going to type this in, uh, DVD was 3,000, I'm going to tap Japanese Yen, and I'm going to tap in US dollars, and there I can see how much I spent on that DVD. I'm also given that running total of uh, all the calculations in this file. So some really cool, some really cool and handy stuff. You know, I'm, let me jump back into the scratch pad and go to the percentages you know you ever go find a sale and you get 30 I'm tap percent off $400 is 280 so if you need to make calculations really quickly this is a great app it's got uh, a lot of built-in features that that uh, we use a lot um, you can get this on your iPad I like the big area I'm also connected to a Bluetooth keyboard which enables me to type the numbers in faster. Um, but this is a great tool on your iPhone, too, to do these simple, quick calculations. Okay, and you might want, you know, hey, what's, uh, you know, what's 15% of uh, 2,300? You know, real easy to make these calculations. Okay, this app is powerful. There's a lot more in here that I don't even know about, but I use a few of these things really often um, but if you want to know more just tap on the little help book in the top right corner and you'll get more information about using it these cool little keyboards comments currencies all this stuff and this app is available in the Mac app I'm sorry in the App Store and I believe it was about $2.99 so I hope you have fun with it. It's a great app for doing your calculations. Aloha.